The group led by Suleiman Usman Yusuf, who is a former staff in the office of the National Security Advisor and also a security consultant, said the uniform approach will ensure that criminals could be traced and taken out in any part of the Northwest Zone and not allowed to escape justice through peace deal in another state as a result of lack of uniform strategy on the part of the governors. The group decried the fate of the victims of this crude and human act of the bandits that have rendered many homeless, widows, widowers, and orphans. Women, children, farmers in villages and towns have been killed. Their properties destroyed and carted away. Their sources of livelihood lost to criminals and yet justice has not been served. In Zamfara State, which has recorded the most, the most banditry, rather than seek justice for victims through transparent criminal justice process, Governor Motole, in the name of blanket amnesty, is in bed with bandits who killed villagers, kidnapped many for ransom, raped women and young girls, conscripted denied farmers access to their farms and caused untold hardships to communities. The big question here is what about the victims? What about those women? What about children? What about the orphans? What about the old men and women? The stakeholders also call for the strengthening of investigation, profiling of criminals, information sharing, prosecution, and the restoration of basic governance to address banditry in the Northwest Zone and the nation generally. It expressed concern over the for state government's peace deal with bandits and the blanket amnesty offered to criminals. In spite of the robbery, abduction, rape, and plunder they have committed and continue to commit, asserting that the national security is superior to all. Nigeria's national security interests supersedes the interests of any politician or political group and will not stand by and watch any politician politicize efforts geared towards dealing with insecurity. Since President Muhammad Buhari approved uh, uh, President Muhammad Buhari's approval to ban illegal mining and the imposition of no-fly zone in Zamfara State. It appears that Governor Matole has been dissatisfied with these decisions and rather than follow appropriate channels of communication to seek explanations, has continued to politicize Mr. President's decision. This development is unhealthy and does not serve the interests of Nigeria and the people of Zamfara State. According to the stakeholders, the list of beneficiaries of the Zamfara State Peace Deal should be made public, including legal and administrative process, as well as financial commitments. It explains that this will lead to transparency and accountability from which lessons can be drawn. They urge all Nigerians to support the police, the military, and other security agencies sacrificing their lives to ensure that the citizens remain secure. The group also expressed concern over ongoing attacks by gunmen in the southeast region and call on the people in the region to condemn the attacks and work with security agencies to curtail them. They also noted that as Nigeria moves gradually towards election in 2023, politicians must desist from politicizing security issues. It said failure to do that will only serve as a distraction to the challenging work that the security officers are expected to accomplish. Abdul Aziz Ahmed Kader, Liberty News, Kaduna.